You have seen this charming young lady before. Did you see her in Body Heat, which has become a cult classic for all practical purposes, in Steve Martin's The Man with Two Brains. Now she's in another movie called Romancing the Stone, and I'll bet you this going to be a big hit and a big money winner, and you're going to be a wealthy lady. Oh, well, I think that oh, would be great. Or they've already been paid. Oh, no, they paid me already, yeah. Uh oh. That's what if okay. it becomes a really big, phenomenally financial success? You get it? Can you say, hey? <laughs> well, hey. Michael Douglas, who produced Romancing the Stone as well as co starring in it, is a terrific and I think, you know, a very modern, forward thinking producer. And uh, I think we all have uh, an interest in the film. Oh, I hope so. Kathleen Turner is her name. And the curious thing, she plays a very interesting role of a rather mousy kind of writer who then goes down to Colombia, South America, and her fantasies become reality. Now, the weird thing is, Kathleen, yeah. when you fall in love, yeah. your hair got fat. Well, it got fuzzy, yeah. Well, it's the humidity in Mexico. Was that really it? Yeah, it really is. Because actually, uh, the, hair, the, the hair just, get, it does really truly get wavier. But it's not just that, really, you know. It's that, it's that Joan um, is, is, keeps herself so tied in in her little life in New York when she's really quite hiding out from a lot of life. And then it, she just starts opening up and getting bigger and uh, a little bolder and a little fuller and happier with herself. And it shows. Well, it was translated in your hair. I noticed the moment she fell in love, her hair got fat, and, and she just, she blossomed. She really Yes, really love did. transforms her. It does. Uh, it's a highly packed action adventure kind of film. May I liken it to Raiders of the Lost Ark? May I do that? Well, you can, but uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, sure, go ahead. In the sense, in the sense that you're in a jungle yeah. and things are happening at a really fast pace. Yeah, you are talking about survival at times. Uh, yeah. Okay, now let's talk about the things that happened to you w with regards to things happening quickly and mm -hmm. the possibility of danger. There mm. is a mudslide. It is really very dramatic. Were you actually in the mudslide? Oh, in parts of it. We had a fantastic stunt team who have worked, I worked with uh, my stunt double before, and they're really terrific, both in the sense of, of doing the stunt and also in, in taking care of all the parts that we do, that Michael and, and Danny and I do, Danny DeVito, that, um, that all the safeguards that are possible, you know, are taken so that the risk is minimal. Well, at what point would you say, I don't want to do that? Or would the director say, uh, Kathleen, we don't mm -hmm. want you to do that? Well, actually, they well, said that more often than I did, because I, I tend to sort of throw myself into things sometimes. Um, at the point where, the, where you, you can't, there is a, a certain level of protection, you know. In the, in the fight scene, for example, with Zolo, in, in the big final fight scene, and stuff. I, I wanted to do all of that, uh, and I did, yeah. except, except when they fall, when he catches her, and they fall and hit the, fall, hit the stone, because there is ultimately really no way to really protect yourself from that, and somebody does have to get up and do the rest of the scene, and that's me. So I did everything but that. Well, word had it, humor had it, that you had a couple of stitches taken? Yeah. Where? Uh, where? Well, I had four stitches in my head, and I had a couple stitches in my arm from uh, the airplane. Um, so there were things that happened, but you know, they, nothing that, that was irreparable. And doctors that were readily available to come on call. Right, you come see. to your trailer and stitch you up and put you back on set. Well, Michael Douglas said that uh, this was about a 21 stitch picture. <laughs> yeah, he got a couple, yeah. <laughs> he did? Yeah. How about when you're swinging across the gorge? Now, did you do that? And it looked like such fun. I'd want <laughs> to do that. I really would. No, not if you could look down that gorge oh, all 400 feet. <laughs> if you look down 400 feet, you probably wouldn't want to. Uh, we did, we, that's a conglomeration also. You know, we, we do parts of it uh, and, and, and cut it together. You've been able to let yourself go with this? Let with yourself go into the character, into yeah. that playing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a lot of ways. I, I wanted very much to to find something that was a real change of pace from the sort of roles that I've done before. And I think Joan is that, because she's, she has such a, an evolution in the film, which was so attractive to me. Mm -hmm. But also the, the fun and the support from Bob Zemeckis, the director, and from Danny and from Michael, it was a freedom and a willingness to try things and to, and to just make things work that was great. 
You know, the nice thing about your face is you can be very plain. You yeah. can be very plain. Sure. And still become very glamorous. So it's a f it's a mobile, flexible kind of face. Well, it's been very useful. <laughs> <laughs> now think though, if you were born absolutely beautiful, like the Elizabeth Taylors, yeah, you can't really make the switch that easily because you're too I pretty. You probably are more limited in in the range. You would always have to to be playing either, uh, you know, consciously against that at times. That would make it would that would add difficulty. I would think to the credibility of a character. So, yeah, I'm pretty lucky. I wasn't aware that your voice is as low as it is. Well, Jones is a little higher, you know, because she's, she, I mean, toward the end of the film, it gets lower as she blossoms. But uh, she talks up here a lot of the time because it's, you know, she's a little less secure. Well, there's, there's a little accent, a little, a strange yeah. accent here. What, what is it? Well, or is it, it a growing up overseas, really, and my father had a, had a British accent because he was brought up in China and educated in the British school system. And my mother's from Missouri. And then I lived in a lot of different countries, so I think it's just all mixed up. What's next for you, Kathleen Turner? Well, I hope uh, another film. I think uh, I hope to work with Ken Russell. And then I'll go back on stage in New York. Is that the first love? Well, yeah, it always is. It, it's, it's, the, it's the base. It's going home. Yeah. Well, when did you decide, I am going to be an actress when I grow up? Was there a point? When I was about 13, really. When, it, when the decision, when I could really decide that I was going to earn my living as an actress. Not just that it was something I might want to do or people did, but that it could be my career. Well, you must have incredible energy to do a uh, soap opera during the day and to do Broadway yeah. at night. She was in Gemini on Broadway. How can you, how do you do that? You take the vitamins and you sleep yeah. and take good care of yourself? I try to, but also there's just... Just performance energy itself is so exciting. I mean, they're really, I think, I mean, you must know that, that there's a level of, of adrenaline, I suppose, that, that doesn't let you down. Mm-hmm. Comes through. Yeah. One last thing. What? In the movie, Romancing the Stone, she comes dressed as a very prim, rather proper, um, whiter type. Yeah. And when the... the the uh, rags began to go, as it were, because she's chopping her way through the forest. The yeah, way in which your dress falls apart right. is so perfect. <laughs> I mean, the slit is exactly where it should be. Mm. I mean, it is a very sensuous kind. Of, I want one of those dresses, is what well, I want. Well, we, what we did was we, we tested a lot of material. We found this raw silk weave that we, we needed to, to sort of pull apart under strain. And it started falling apart from the first moment I put it on. So we had about 16 or 20 of the outfits, I think, in different stages of disarray. And as the film, as the level of, you know, in, of difficulty increases through the action of the film, uh, the dress reflects it. I mean, certainly mm. falls apart. Well, there's a lot of action in the film, and Kathleen Turner has done a terrific job. Thank you. I think you'll be interested in seeing this. You do a nice job. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Kathleen Turner is the name. Romancing the Stone is the name of the film. Please stay tuned. 10-11 Morning continues.